Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 8, 2021. If you like to support that channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full video with all the commodities that are available on Etero. So the link is down below. So as you can see, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and uh, we have rallied quite significantly today up towards the 20 mo exponential moving average and then given some of those gains back when we reached these previous highs. Uh, we may see this go all the way to the 20 exponential and that's roughly at 90.10 at this current stage. Technical indicators are turning around. However, I think it's just gonna be more of the same. Rally up towards the 20, then break down even further. We are in the downtrend and we have been the 20 exponential has been very um, resistant for a very long time now and there's not really any expectation that we are going to break above the 20 exponential if we do then we'll head to the 50 and then we'll find even more resistant there but this has had a toll on most commodities and precious metals for example gold which was expected to rally in the the day did not rally significantly and so on so let's look at oil. So oil is trading at 50.92 at this current stage. We were all the way up at 51.21 at the, uh, today. And uh, we are just going to go higher and higher and higher. At this current stage, I think that 60 is basically the target. I'd be very surprised uh, because, uh, well, the reason why this is, uh, uh, well, this is um, increasing is basically pure speculation. Even the US dollar appreciated day, this still increased, uh, and that makes absolutely no sense. Technical indicators are very bullish for, for oil. Uh, we are on the edge of being overbought, so just keep that in mind. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, for oil, we should be fairly overstretched. So a pullback towards roughly uh, 38, that is very likely at this current stage but we were also very overstretched yesterday and then we rallied even more so but um, we are overstretched here in the Bollinger Band and we are on the edge of being overbought and there's no reason for us to be uh, at this level but we are and um, if you want to make money then you should basically follow the trend and not try to beat the trend so pull back towards the 20 exponential roughly 48 that's your entry point I would then enter for a buy here. I would wait until we have a pullback. Then you can put a stop loss right on here at roughly 47 and then target these previous highs again or even higher than that, 55, for example. So let's look at natural gas. We are just seeing more of the same, which I uh, kind of expected. Technical indicators are also showing that we are, are getting exhausted here and this is just going to turn around. So it is very likely that we'll see more of this continuation, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall, rise. And then we have uh, risen all the way up towards the 50, did not even touch the 50, and now we're just falling back down towards the 200 moving average. If the 20 exponential breaks, for example, similar to this, then we'll see a tidal wave all the way to the 200, and then it will be a question whether or not the 200 holds. If that doesn't hold, will go all the way down to 1.7. So this is a market that I did trade when we uh, found support here at the 200 because that was fairly expected. It was expected for a pullback uh, or a rally, but I did not expect a rally all the way up to the 200 moving, uh, to the 50 moving average. That was very uh, surprising that we did that, but we did. And uh, yes, at this current stage, I'm just staying away from this because it could turn around here go to uh, to the upside it could also fall all the way down to the 200 moving average and therefore it is way too risky to enter this market so let's look at copper we have rally yet again we are trading at 3.7 which uh, was um also ex kind of expected i thought we were going to fall in towards the 20 exponential moving average but we didn't um so at this current point we are getting very overstretched we are at the we are overbought here at the 75 
71 here in RSI. Technical English R turning around, for example, the CCI and the stochastic is, well, it's bullish and the same goes for the MACD. But a pullback towards the, the 20 exponential, that is basically uh, what is needed here. So you know, 3.55 or 3.56, that is where uh, most buyers probably are waiting for this to fall and then will start buying it again. Um, and with a stop loss roughly underneath the 20 exponential here at 3.5 and then we will target 3.75. So let's look at gold. So gold had a really rough day today. So it was fairly expected for gold to rally. Um, towards the 1950 but it is gone most likely going to take its time we are we have a we have a trend line here that is working as a major uh, support roughly there and uh, it is very unlikely that we're going to break this this uh, support line underneath we have the 20 exponential and the 50 and all the way down here we have the the 200 so what is going to happen here is most likely that we're going to see this line going up this way and we are just going to see this continue even higher. If the US dollar starts depreciating again, we could expect this to increase significantly higher. Technical indicators are turning around a little bit, but I think this is going to be short lived as we are most likely going to bounce from this and going ahead for 1950 and then 2000. Let's look at silver. So silver, very similar thing here. Uh, people were mostly focusing on you know, cryptocurrency today and not silver and gold in order to use it as a safe haven. But in the long run, silver and gold are going to increase. Um, but we have this resistant area here that we need to take out in order for us to go to $30. But this is a fairly good setup for a buy. We have the trend line here, the 20 exponential underneath and the 50 uh, stop loss right underneath this and then a target of $30. So let's look at platinum. So we continue this rally. I was hoping for a pullback towards the 20 exponential, but we are rallying. So 11, 17, that's where we are at this current stage. We are fairly overstretched at this current stage. We're way outside of the bullish band, so a pullback, very aggressive pullback towards the middle here, roughly at 10.34. Uh, that is very expected. We are overbought as well, uh, but technical indicators are still very bullish for this market. Pullback towards this area, that is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential and a target again of these very highs. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we continue our decline. We are still trading above the 20 exponential. So it's going to be interesting to basically see what happened when or not we get all the way down to the 20 exponential. I We probably could see a continuation up this way. And then we'll probably, if we manage to take out these previous highs, then we most likely have a very good chance of going significantly higher. Otherwise, we have been trading in this range for technically forever. All the way back to July last year, we have been in this range. And, um, well, it has been a, basically a pain to, to trade this. I have I just stayed technically far away from this because it is just, well, it's not my type of trade. I like when we have clear patterns of, of a major resistance and support. So... At this current stage, I would not consider everybody buying into this whatsoever. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on Patreon if you want the full technical analysis for all commodities on eTerm. Good luck and thank you very much.